One company has set out to change web browsing forever, and they're called Arc. So if you kind of want to follow along down below, I put a link in the description, and it's for their student outreach program, but it does offer priority access download to Arc. And it's going to be a pretty quick install, so not too much to worry about, just waiting for it to download and things like that. And they have a super great onboarding process, so it should be pretty quick to learn, and I found it pretty nice. And they actually recently updated that onboarding process, I think last week, so it's pretty fresh and new. So let's get into why ARC is the ultimate productivity tool, especially for students. First, I want to talk about the user engagement. So it feels like Arc really cares about their users and all the insight that their users offer. You might be wondering, Tommy, why are you talking about user engagement as one of the features? And that's because user engagement is super important to actually developing a browser and making it feel more like the user's browser instead of the browser company's browser. So what the browser company does is they have a Twitter account and they kind of keep people updated on what's going on and they have constant updates almost weekly with something new. They're super small updates but they always add something really important and some new features that are really useful. And the way they get these useful features is you can suggest a feature and it actually gets done. But things like Chrome, it's not going to happen. Like you can suggest all the features you want, they're probably not going to implement it. But Chrome does actually steal from Arc. Microsoft Edge actually also steals from Arc too. So it seems like through the pipeline, they might uh, get your suggestion, but only if you're using Arc. But I also want to talk about some of the useful features that Arc does offer. Now, Arc has like hundreds of useful features that I've never seen in another browser that really help it organize your life and your mind and makes it feel really seamless using the internet. I'm just going to go over the top few that I thought of. So the sidebar is something completely new to Arc, I've never seen it. They have great hotkeys to get it to pop up and go away. And when it goes away, I really like the look of it. It's very minimal and it just shows the website you're looking at. But the sidebar helps you organize your life. You can come in, you can click for a new emoji, new icons, you can add tons of different things. You can also sort it between the today tabs, the pin tabs, and then your forever pin tabs. But I'll talk about that when I talk about spaces, but it's super useful for that. Another great part of it is you can have different accounts for each one. So for me, I have a school account and on that school account, it only is hooked up to my school email, but when I swipe over, it's hooked up to my main Gmail account, which is super nice. Really helps to keep my life super organized and I don't have to worry about things automatically signing into random accounts I don't want them to. It's really nice to get a custom look and feel for each different space. Um, next, I want to talk about easels. So easels can organize your notes and organize live web pages. And one thing I've used them for is they constantly update. So all I have to do is I just screenshot this calendar in my canvas, and then it's going to constantly update with whatever the newest week is and whatever my new assignments are. You can do this with any kind of tool. You can do it with YouTube videos to show them. And I've used them for mood boards and all different kinds of things. Next, I want to talk about boosts. Boosts really make the internet feel like your own. You can customize a website however you want. You can zap away objects that you don't like, and you can change the colors on the flies. So all you have to do is click this paintbrush tool and you can change the fonts, you can change the uppercase, lowercase, the colors, literally whatever you want. There's a lot more things that you can do with it, but if you want to check out some other boosts, you can see communities who actually go in and recode websites. You can kind of think of them like extensions on Chrome. Now, that was a really quick overview of some of the features. If you want to check out some more of those features, I actually made a video about it right there. And if you particularly liked a feature, I kind of want to hear from you guys what you thought in the comments below. Um, like what features are super useful for me personally I think that sidebar is like number one for me so I've seen other web browsers kind of do similar things but none of them are as good as Arc is at it. And lastly I want to talk about transparency. So this is kind of like the first thing I brought up but I feel like a lot of browsers and um, different apps try to take your information and sell them to advertisers because I mean, there's a lot of money in that, and I see why they do do that, because how else would they stay in business? But Arc is different. Arc runs off funding, and they kind of keep it their users involved with the whole system. And they're actually so against ads that their browser comes with Adblock, and I haven't seen another browser do that. Uh, on top of that, they are really transparent with what the flaws are in the browser. So they'll actually point out like, hey, we have a speed issue in this new update, but we're planning on fixing that. And they listen to users' feedback about the bugs. So each time they release a new update, you can actually see some of the bug fixes and some of the bug ads, which are something you don't see with other browsers or any other software for that. 
And I think that's super useful. You can choose whether or not to update to the newest firmware if you don't want that. And they make it more about themselves. But I feel like Arc is great about making a community and they have a great onboarding process and they're all about user experience, which means they're gonna be the easiest to use, the best to use. And basically they should be your only web browser because they're not lacking any features, but on top of that, they're really great at everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me.